Eight on your side is getting schooled on cyberbullying. It is a growing reality in schools. In fact, the Cyberbullying Research Center found 27% of middle and high school students who responded to a survey had been the victims of bullying. News Channel 8's Meredith Sansulo joins us now in studio. She's got a look at how schools are cracking down on online bullying. I went to Pinellas County Schools and talked to their bullying prevention specialist. She's been in that job for 11 years, and she's seen cyberbullying become rampant, and she says it even exists in elementary schools. Now that the school is using an online tool to combat that online problem. Cyberbullying is the use of any technology, social media or text messages intended to cause harm. There was a lot more cyberbullying as technology is getting better. Our students are um, uh, engaging in it with the social networking sites mm -hmm. um, and they bring it right onto school camp on school grounds. Sometimes they engage in it on school grounds. There are endless ways cyberbullying can be transmitted. Instagram, uh, Snapchat, there's Facebook, there's this all kicks. There's all these little, I have to try to stay up to date with all these different um, apps and social networking sites that our kids are engaging in. Pinellas County Schools now use a program called Anonymous Alerts. Complaints may be made by students or parents, and the school where the bullying is reported is notified immediately. Last year, 1,300 reports of cyberbullying came in, and a third were substantiated as bullying or harassment. That's more than 400 cases in one year alone. The student receives a discipline referral, minimum, minimum, and then the school takes action on, you know, based on that. In every case, a parent is notified, but Joan says parents should be proactive before bullying occurs. You have to know where your kids are when they're online. You know, it's okay, and you should be looking into what they're saying, what they're doing, who their friends are um, online. There's a lot of really good resources out there. One of those is cyberbullying.org. It is up to date with information on the latest social media apps that your kids are into and the dangers of each one. And it kind of puts it in parrot terms. Mm -hmm. So there are videos that explains this is what it is, this is how kids are using it. But it's it. so great that there's this format yeah. now for parents to communicate this information because a parent might be thinking, gosh, do I call the principal? Do I call the what teacher? What do you do? I mean, yeah. I've been in that position. Who do you call and are they going to do anything? And is right. it Make it worse and they for my are child. going to respond within 24 hours. Obviously, if you're sending something at the start of the school day, then that will yeah. be responded but to immediately. But you can even your child might not get home till nighttime, and you yep. can just get on the computer It'll and send that in, in immediately. immediately. And a quick turnaround—that's good to hear. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Mayor. Sure.